RFKJ has been raising some of these issues for a long time. He's an environmental lawyer. He's an environmental yeah. lawyer at heart. That's how he actually made his living. And yeah. Casey, no sooner did he pop up and say, like, I don't know about these vaccines. Forget COVID vaccine. Long before that. Like, I, we're pumping these babies through a lot with a lot of shots at a very early age, and they don't really need this stuff. And so, and then his warnings went well beyond vaccines. He came on this show a couple of years ago and said, you know, why, where do all the ticks come from? Why is autism shooting up? Like all these things. And nobody would platform him at all. They decided he was part of the so-called disinformation dozen. That was the Biden White House. He was totally silenced on raising yeah. the alarm on a lot of these same issues because there really are. And you sound like a conspiracy theorist when you're like, the powerful forces are silencing him. No, they actually were because they really do have financial skin in keeping him and probably you and Callie quiet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it really, this all comes back to money, unfortunately. And when you realize that around 60% of mainstream media's advertising funding is coming from the pharmaceutical industry, I mean, you can't watch five minutes of commercials on TV without seeing a medication commercial. And you realize that the funny thing is that these companies that are paying that much to, to have the ad spots on mainstream media, they're not actually really trying to advertise to you, the consumer. They're trying to get a direct line of communication to the media companies so that they can have an impact on the message that goes out that makes our news. That's a key point, is that it's not about getting you to talk to your doctor about Ozempic. It's about having a direct line of communication to the to the media network so they can have more control over what is said and who is platformed. And this is why the emergence of independent media is one of the most disruptive and exactly what you're doing, right? It's the most disruptive and powerful force right now uh, in the world. Because what you see is that uh, when you look at independent media that are getting hundreds of millions of downloads per month, what are they talking about? Root cause health. The dietary and lifestyle factors like getting sunshine and taking supplements and eating real food and regenerative agriculture. This is what's being talked about on independent media when we're not in a chokehold from the advertisers to talk about a specific dogmatic narrative about that pharmaceuticals are the only way to be healthy. And so I think that's very, very heartening um, and, you know, I think we're in a really interesting moment right now where post COVID, which was just the, the, probably the worst public policy disaster in, in human history, um, where COVID was really fundamentally a metabolic disease. People, we, we, we died at much higher rates than other countries that had better metabolic health. This virus went after people who were immunocompromised because of metabolic disease. This is why people with comorbidities were dying of COVID and people who were otherwise healthy really weren't and children were dying at much lower rates. And people saw that despite knowing that from month two, month three of the pandemic, that this was a virus that went after people who were compromised from lifestyle related and food related diseases, metabolic disease, that zero airtime and zero information coming from our federal agencies in charge for health had anything to do with improving our metabolic health, I think it created a crack where people realize that there's a bigger problem here. So just to get back to what you were saying about RFK, you know, I think there's a moment right now where there's been some distrust that has been bred in the agencies and the healthcare system. Also, costs are going up for everything with inflation. And right now, our healthcare costs, our premiums in the United States are astronomical. The number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States is medical costs. So people are feeling it in a new, different, and poignant way. And I think we're also seeing this inflection point with how health even got worse after COVID due to the lockdowns and other factors. Kids are really suffering. We've got 34% of kids with a behavioral, mental, or emotional disorder. We've got one in 36 kids in the United States with autism, one in 22 in California. We've got ADHD skyrocketing. We've got young adult cancer skyrocketing. We've got prediabetes and teens reaching 30%. We've got 52% of uh, children overweight or obese. So there's a confluence of factors, I think, that are happening that are making this the moment where this is finally making it to the mainstream, which is which is really, really um, exciting. But this is why the concept of freedom of speech and what Elon's talking about and what RFK is talking about and the this idea of 
all the gaslighting that's happening around misinformation from the social media companies, X excluded, and and mainstream media, this is why that issue is actually so important and why that issue needs to be thought about in lockstep with the healthcare crisis. Because when yes. if we start silencing the people who are able to use the disruption of independent media to get these messages out, that's when we're screwed. People say, are you hopeful? And I say, I am hopeful because this is able to be talked about in our beautiful country where we can have discourse. But if that gets threatened, then I think uh, it, it becomes a much scarier place. To me, it's not totally dissimilar from, just to bring it to the current news cycle, what's happened in the past few days after the debate. It was placed in the hands of the mainstream media. We had fake news fact checks on statements that were absolutely true by Donald Trump. Kamala Harris was allowed to get away with lie after lie with no fact checks, no interruptions, no follow-ups. And the internet melted down after watching it because we knew in our guts it was wrong. It was unfair. We knew. And so we've had three days now of fact checkers all over the internet citizen journalists, you know, independent journalists firing off tweet after tweet on X, you know, showing the video of Kamala Harris's positions, which she denied, showing the FBI stats on crime are false that were cited by David Muir, things like that. And so this independent voice, this collective of the voices to make one strong counterbalance voice is correcting the record and changing the national conversation and the national knowledge and maybe even the national vote. And the same thing is now happening in healthcare, which is far more important. This is about whether we live or die. This is about whether our children live or die and for how long and how well. And you, you really are at the pointy head of the spear on this issue. And thank God now your message is getting out. And I know Tucker talked to you about this and you mentioned at the top, but like your credentials could not be any more stellar Casey, our audience already knows this, but I mean, to say she's not fringy is just an insult to even say that anybody might consider that about you. You were at the top of every single medical thing you ever touched until you grew really disillusioned with the system and walked away voluntarily. Stanford, top of your class, top resident, on your way, at what, you were a fifth year of residency, they begged you not to leave, you didn't want to go, you had done everything right, everything right, and then you realized you'd been sold a bag of goods. Yeah. Well, thank you. And I think, you know, it, it doesn't take a rocket science scientist to see what's going on here. It really doesn't. And I, I appreciate that. But I mean, it's it's really just about looking at the completely unemotional facts and stepping back for one second to ask why. I think that's what Americans are doing right now. And, you know, just to list, just to list a little bit about what I'm talking about here, you know, I, I, you know, we obviously talked about this on Tucker, but I, I think it's worth just zeroing in on what I mean by American health getting destroyed. Because then it becomes more like, why isn't every doctor stopping and truly like pausing their practice to get yeah. together to figure this out? We've got 74, four, we have 74% of American adults with overweight or obesity. 74%, three quarters of Americans have overweight or obesity. We've got 40% of children with obesity or overweight. We've got 52% of American adults with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. This should be close to zero. It's 52% with an overt metabolic disorder. 30% of teens now have prediabetes. You know, 50 years ago, a a pediatrician might have gone their entire career without seeing a single case of prediabetes in a teen. Now it's 30%. We've got, again, one in 22 kids in California with autism. This is astronomically higher than it was 20, 30 years ago when it was one in 150 and then one in 1500 farther back. We have, again, 34% of young adults with a mental health or emotional health issue. Young adult cancers are up 79%. We are on Mm -hmm. track to have 2 million new cases of cancer in the United States this year. Highest, Highest absolute number ever recorded In human history, autoimmune diseases are skyrocketing, especially in women of middle age, by some reports going up 3 to 12% per year. Infertility is going up 1% per year. Sperm counts are going down 1% per year at a sustained rate since the 1970s. 77% of American uh, young adults are not fit to serve in the military because of these chronic 
health issues. We've got 18% of teens with fatty liver disease. Again, pediatricians would have never seen this 50 years ago. And as I mentioned, life expectancy is actually going down in the wealthiest country in the world. So ignore credentials, ignore Stanford, ignore all of it. Look at those facts, all of which are referenced on my website for all the people who, who you know, want to know. Our health is getting destroyed. And at the best institutions in America, the hospitals, the medical schools, we're not talking about why. We're talking about how to medicate these conditions. We're talking about how to operate more on these conditions. We're talking about how to increase access to the healthcare system that is not improving these. We've got to be talking about these. The fact that this was not a topic on the debate stage is an abomination of our media. Why is this not the first order thing being talked about that we are, that children have, close to 50% of children in America have a chronic disease. What is going on? We should be outraged. We are spending more on this problem in a way that is not fixing the problem than almost any other line item in the American budget. Taxpayers are paying for it and it's not being talked about. So everyone really needs to realize that this is this is not a fringe issue. It is not something that, you know, it's just an accident that we're ignoring. We are actively ignoring this at every level of our government agencies and media. And the, 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 that needs to stop immediately. Hungry Root is one very easy way to eat healthy. They send you fresh, high quality groceries, simple, delicious recipes, and essential supplements. It's like having someone else do all the planning and shopping so you don't even have to think about it. Hungry Root gets to know your personal health goals, your dietary restrictions, favorite foods, how much time you want to spend cooking, and more. Then they will build you a personalized cart for the week, including easy four-ingredient recipes to put those groceries to use. Each order fully customizable. They've got fresh produce, high-quality meat, healthy snacks, and more. Everything from Hungry Root follows a simple standard. It has to taste good, be quick to make, and contain whole, trusted ingredients. Hungry Root is offering the Megyn Kelly Show viewers 40% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. Just go to HungryRoot.com slash Megan, M-E-G-Y-N, to get 40% off your first delivery and get your free veggies. HungryRoot.com slash Megan. Don't forget to use our link so they know we sent you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.